afternoon baseball now from the heart of Texas and Globe Life Field in Arlington. Here it's the little guys on the big stage between the Durham Bulls and the Columbus Clippers. It's baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Now into the box, Vidal Brujan. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Still even at two and two. And we should see some 90s as we go forward. 88 degrees, our game time temperature. And another foul ball. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Gotta love the battle we're seeing right out of the gates in this game. That's seven That's pitches now, and if four this four. is any indication, we're in for a good contest here. So now here is Jordan Luplo. Now a curveball's in there, one and two now. Ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Hard on the ground towards short. A dive and he knocks it down. But they will not get it out on the play as he beats the throw to first and there are two on to start the inning now. Stepping in now, Josh Lowe into the corner and slicing foul. Ruhan over at second. Luplo first with no outs. In the dirt here. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Johnson is there to put it away for route number one. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jim Haley. And he's got runners in the corners here with only one gun. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. And now here is Grant Kaye. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Set. Here's the 3 1. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. You can't even put a good swing on it. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. We got a full count. Three, and this two. misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. Swing and a liner. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Here's the payoff pitch. Line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. One run scores. The relay on to second, but he's in safely as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. And now Michael Brasso. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. And now here is Gabriel Arias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The set and the 1-1 pitch. 
pops this one up. Odom over to his left, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. At the plate now is Tyler Krieger as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Yeah, he's not quite as powerful on the left side. He's certainly not Chipper Jones who had pop from both sides of the plate. Much more pop hitting right-handed. Two and one to count. Now here it comes. No. A 3-1 count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. High in the air into shallow left center. Schnell comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. That's and out of the plate, Nolan Jones. First, first cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. The 1-1 one, one home is swung on and missed for strike Down number two. One and two. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. The next one, two pitch. Two out, nobody on. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Taylor Walls. For me, this is an important add on inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it, but keeping the pressure on, oh, building that's that cool. lead, that's how you bury someone. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Count even at two and two. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bump them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Well, this second inning is not starting out any better than the first was. He just might not have it in this one. Ball even at two and two. Ah, went to the slider to try and get him to chase, but it's full now, three and two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first. And up now will be Vidal Brujan. Brujan. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Now a throw over, and the runner back. Walls leads off first with one away. Swing and a miss. Does that look like self-defense there? It's two and two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count your favorite. He's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Now a swing and a little bouncer softly hit to the right side of the mound. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Next up, Jordan Luplo. Runner in scoring position with Sudan. Fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. Arias will put this one away and the side is retired. Last half of the second set to go and the next to bat will be Josh Naylor. Here it comes on one and one. Popped him up. Walls stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. That is good. Next, it'll be right Daniel field. Johnson. Daniel. Johnson. The 1 1. 
takes a pass and misses that strike two. One and two. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch, and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Batting kick. The center fielder. Standing in now, George Valera. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. And this is lined hard to deep left. Schnell is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now with the plate is Ernie Clement. The designated hitter. Ernie. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a move over to first. No, he's safe. And he'll dive back in. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. So now into the box is Josh Lowe. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Sent on the ground out to second. Right to him. Throw to first in time. And the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The first so now it'll be the four hole hitter. Jim Haley worked a walk his first time up. Straightened him up one there on that fastball. Down. It's one and two now. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. And this one will bounce into the wall. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Now that third base ran. Okay. At the plate now, Grant K. Hit hard toward the right side. And this is going to be a fair ball as it'll head to the corner. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's a 3-0 game. Now back. Into the box, Nick Schnell. High in the air into shallow left center. Arias onto the grass. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Mike Brasso digging into the plate. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. the third now and next to hit is the catcher Ryan LaVarnway can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two I love everything this pitcher's got working right now he's got presence he's got great body language on the mound he's got fastball <laughs> command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out one Batting away. The second Next, it'll be Aaron Bracho. Bracho. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. The 2 2 hit hard on the ground is short and a base hit into left field so they've got themselves a one out base runner no batter number 15 First stop. at the plate Gabriel Arias too high there and maybe a bit outside as well two and one all even now two and two 
When a pitcher puts you in a proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your now fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Gabriel Arias becomes out number two this inning. Bracho leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw to second for the force out and the side is retired. Daniel Espino answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. And now Taylor Walls worked a walk in his first plate appearance. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to He's hit. Out. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now Up next, is. Joseph That's Odom. He's Joseph. 0 for 1 thus far. Odom. Now the 1-1 one and one pitch. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. One and two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. The Back to the top of the order now. Second and up now will be Vidal, Vidal. Brujan. Brujan. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Swing and a little tapper. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. Throw the first beats him easily, and the side is retired. Stepping in is Nolan Jones. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Now Into batting. the box, right Daniel Johnson. He Daniel. singled first time up. Johnson. Popped him up. Odom moving to his left, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Next, here is George Valera. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Jones is off of first with two away. 1 1 pitch, a curveball that's right there. One ball, two strikes. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Stepping in once again is Jordan Luplo. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now the one and one pitch. Ties him up inside with one a good ball, fastball. Two I try and tell people all the time, you're facing 90 to 92, 94. You can still see seams. It starts getting above 94. It starts to blur itself a little bit. You start pitching where this guy's at, you're seeing nothing. You're seeing vapor. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Jordan Luplo becomes the first out of the inning. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jim Haley. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Reined in. 
over to first, and that retires the side. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Bernie Clement. Chops this one out towards second. Fielded cleanly. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. So next to hit is Ryan LaVarnway. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take. And it's to 2-1 and one now. Ball He's three. falling behind now, three and one. Three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Hit in the air down the right field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a liner. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. And now it'll kick around in the corner. Second baseman. So now to the plate, Aaron Bracho. Nope. And he takes ball four. ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Not shortstop. LaVarnway at second. Bracho is over at first with one away. A ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes, Captain. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Now batting, left field. Digging in, the Tyler. switch hitter, Tyler Krieger. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. So now to the plate, Grant Cade. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. The 1-1. One, one. That's a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Hard hit ball to short, right to him. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Next to hit, now Nick Schnell. One for two with a double on his Nick line thus far. Schnell. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball Pitch three. taken, several inches below the zone, three in fact. Three balls, one strike. Hail gets him ball. to swing and miss there, three and two. Okay, if you're in this lineup right here, game on, boys. I know he's got power stuff, but if he, he's going to come middle of the plate, you better be ready to pull the trigger. Johnson is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Striding forward now, now is the DH, Michael Brasso. He's Michael hitless in his two at-bats so far. The 1-1 one, one home. That's ball two. center field and that is in there for a two out base knock so the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive to the plate now Taylor Walsh and a big swing and a miss here two strikes you know from a hitter's perspective you get pounded in and then he throws a nasty change up away is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now. The 2 2 one more time. Will not catch the zone, three, ball three. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. He spoils another one, and will do it again. Swing and a ball hard hit toward deep right. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And another runs across as this is now a 4-0 ball game. Now batting. 
catcher, Joseph. Into Foden. the box now, Joseph Foden. Aye. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Slap hard the opposite way. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the run is in to score from second. Now a 5 nothing lead. The bat. The second base. Vidal. Brujan. And Blake now. Vidal Brujan. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now that The right fielder. Jordan. Stepping in now. Jordan Luplo. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. And stepping in, Nolan Jones. A match up with Tyler Glass now to lead off the inning. Now the 2-1. Three balls, one strike. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Number number Into the box, Josh Naylor. Line drive, base hit. Throw into third. And he is in there. Now back, right fielder, Daniel. So now to the plate, Daniel Johnson. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. Still a ball and two strikes. And it's fouled away. Runners are at first and third with none out. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Now batting. So the Looks next to field. bat will be George Valera. No hits to this point. Valera. Now the one and one pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle. He's got it. Now he'll fake a throw to second and look to first instead. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Now so next to bat will be Ernie Clement over two on the afternoon so far. The 2 1 pitch. In there, and it's even now, 2 and 2. Uh, you can tell this guy's got great feel for all this stuff right now. To break out that nasty hammer right there, this guy's on point. Fouled off. Uh, two, two, one more time. This is line to left. That's in there. Base hit. The runner from second scores as they inch a bit closer. Now batting. Catcher. Ryan. LaVarnway. To the plate now, Ryan LaVarnway. This is foul right side. Here's a look over to first. Clement, the runner at first with two gone. Lifted down the line in left. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Nick Sandlin is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 52. New inning set to get underway. Digging in is the outfielder, Josh Lowe. And he takes a cold strike, too. Two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Striding in is Jim Haley, grounded out in his last at bat. Haley. Now the two one pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. 
And now Grant Cade. Nope, this one misses as well, and that pushes it to three and one. Called strike, and that'll run it full. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Ground ball to second. This could be two. One there. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. Ryan Thompson gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and standing in as the switch hitting second baseman, Aaron Bracho. The one and two pitch. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. No batter, so the batting 13. order turns over now and set to go. Gabriel Arias struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that will end up a foul ball. The one two. Two ball, two strike. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw gets him, two down. Now at the plate, here is Tyler Krieger. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. And that is down as that could be two bases. Now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now that good baseman. No way. Yeah. Into the box now. Nolan Jones. Two balls. No one offer ball. on that one. Two balls and a strike. High in the air down the right field line. Nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Ben Crowd has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 41. There. Digging in will be Nick Schnell. He flew out in his last AB. on the ground out to second. Reined in. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Next to hit is Michael Brasso, singled in his last at-bat. We're in the eighth inning now of a 5-2 to two ball game. 2-2. Two and two. Second, where it's caught there for out number two. Next to dig in, Taylor Walsh. He's one for two in this one. Two out, nobody on. Yeah. 
sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. Matt Whistler is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Josh Naylor. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. So here is Daniel Johnson. He went down on strikes last time up. 1-1. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Swing and he pops him up. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now to bat, George Valera. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Naylor stands at first with one out. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. High in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. Next up is Ernie Clement. Single homer run in his last time up. A runner on first with two away. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, man. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. Even count, two balls and two strikes. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. And now in the box, Joseph Odom. He'll start things off in the top of the ninth as they look for a little insurance. Now the 2-1 pitch is in there for the second strike. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. The batter will be Vidal Brujan. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Brujan. To two and two now. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Now to the plate, here is Jordan Luplo. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was... And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Nick Anderson comes out of the bullpen now to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 70, Nick Anderson. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it'll be the catcher, Ryan LaVarnway. The 2-2. It's taken on the inside corner. Strike three. Next to stand in now is Aaron Bracho. One for two Aaron. in the ballgame thus far. Bracho. 1-1 one, one home. Misses. Ball two. And it's two balls and two strikes now. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. 
they're doing that, and this one caught the zone. He stays alive, still two and two. One out, nobody on. Hit sharply on the ground. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. The batter number 13. Shortstop. Gabriel. Stepping in now. Gabriel oh, Arias. One ball. It's one and two. two. Right. Hit down the line at first. There's one. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Hey, there was no reason to panic. He gave up a hit, but he comes right back and gets a double play to end this thing. Great resiliency right there to secure the save and the victory for the team. 5-2 to two the final today. The Durham Bulls jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Tyler Glasnow is the winning pitcher of record. Giancarlo Mejia worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of the crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshow.com. Now is our final line score. First for the victorious Bulls. Five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For the Clippers.